Virgo, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to your weekend reading. Uh, if you're new, smash that like button and please do subscribe if you want to become a member of my channel. Just click the join button. You'll get cool perks, badges. If you were a member before, you will be reinstated. Your membership will be reinstated. Um, personal reading link is in the description box below and you can also get text readings with me. All right, let's get into this. So we're taking a look at the weekend. So March 15th through the 17th, starting with seduction, kisses in the golden mirror. All right, let's take a look what the energies are for the weekend okay what is this attraction flirting dating hooking up temptation third party interference okay let's take a look okay sagittarius energy showing up here over the weekend let's see what else what else does virgo need to know okay tower moment okay so be careful of this energy virgo i feel like um yeah, there could be somebody like real self-absorbed trying to seduce you over this weekend with their little temptations, okay? Somebody's name could be Sean. Um, uh, we have Sagittarius and Scorpio, so it could be like a Sagiscorp cusp um, as well, or just the two separate signs. I feel like there's going to be somebody showing up here over your weekend who's going to be flirting with you showing interest be careful there could be some love bombing um especially if you're in a relationship already please please don't give in to temptation um because this person is going to be laying it on pretty thick and will even give you a feeling of like oh my god i've met my soulmate like we are so perfect for each other like anybody who has that kind of magic power over you almost immediately, you need to flee. <laughs> you need to flee because I feel like it's going to be very shocking and it's going to be like a huge ego boost as well. But at the same time, you need to know. I feel like heed the warning. Heed the warning. Um, this person is coming in for like a hookup or you know there may even be like dating an opportunity for dating but you know you got the ten of wands i feel like some of you might even be like oh finally at the end of this struggle i'm gonna pull some clarifying cards for temperance in the tower because i feel like somebody's coming in like it's gonna feel like you two are divinely guided towards each other uh, and you may feel like, oh, you know, uh, this like this struggle's over. I, no more of this burden. I'm finally at the end of this. I'm meeting my soulmate. There's a beautiful connection here. Okay, yeah, it, it's gonna feel like the real deal. But I just, I just feel like take your time. Look at this. This person, yeah, I said love bombing. That's my love bombing card right there. Someone just laying it on real thick and like sprinkling that magic over you, making you feel like incredible. Just be very careful of a seduct, sed a predatory energy or a seductress or a seducer kind of thing happening here. Yeah, it's it's pretty heavy duty. Okay, and you might be quite shocked by this. Not sure why, but the, that's what the tower is. It's like someone's just blowing the roof off the house here. Like, oh my gosh, just be careful. Is there anything else Virgo needs to know about this person who's going to be, okay. <laughs> Eight of Swords. Um, I mean, this person is like heavily restricted. They have mental issues. <laughs> they have a mental problem. They seriously do. They might have like some kind of NPD or something going on. This is the golden mirror. This can be the big N. One-sided love bombing. Be careful. There's going to be like this kiss as though I just love you. I'm so in love with you. I'm falling in love. Or I just like lots of affection. Uh, coming off as being very like uh, unconditional love kind of energy. <laughs> wow, Virgo. Let me see. I've been waiting for you, a person like you. Yeah, oh my gosh. Virgo, you need to flee. Okay. I'm on my own. I'm single. I'm not with anybody else. I, I push back on people because people are, this is what I feel like this person is tell, will be telling you. Um, I, I'm like really picky and defensive and I'm like, I don't let just anybody in. But as soon as I saw you, I just 
like I am like like I've been considering if I should approach you um, this kind of feels like even with the hermit now of course it could be another Virgo or you might even know this person but even with this energy it's like this person I don't know I feel like when the hermit goes within they do a lot of analyzing and I feel like this person is like okay how am I gonna get how am I gonna get Virgo lots of oh i don't know virgo but some of you though at the same time it's like virgos don't generally fall for the okie doke but this person ap appeals to your emotion okay and that emotional part of you that is like oh you want that long-term thing that's how they're going to come in with this energy show me the hermit oh my gosh yes how can i get with virgo how can i be with virgo i feel like this reading is going to be so short but you know, I do feel like this person has some kind of mental health stuff going on for sure. And you might need to like vet a little bit here, Virgo. The golden mirror, self-absorbed, narc, one-sided relationship, love bombing. Could be a Gemini. Let's get some cards for this. Wait, one more for the lovers here. Okay. Oh, I just saw the fool. So very free-spirited person. They're kind of like, they don't stick. They're like a wanderer, I just heard. Remember that? Oh, there's an old song they just gave me from the 50s called The Wanderer. Wait a minute, I have to look up the lyrics. The Wanderer. Uh, you need to hear these lyrics. If you don't know this song, look it up. But this is what I feel like this person, their energy is. I know some of you might know the song. It's really old. <laughs> oh, I'm the type of guy who will never settle down Where pretty girls are, well, you know that I'm around I kiss them and I love them, cause to me they're all the same I hug them and I squeeze them, they don't even know my name Cause I'm a wanderer, I roam around and around and around <laughs> There's Flo on my left, then there's Mary on my right And Janie is a girl that I'll be with tonight Oh my god, you guys <laughs> This, what is this reading? I roam from town to town. I go through life without a care. I happy as a clown, the fool. And I with my two fists of iron, but I'm going nowhere. <laughs> y'all, y'all, I'm not even like, I, I always say like, I'm not the person that says y'all, but I find myself always saying it. So like, I guess I am the person that says it, but this person, put that song on. <laughs> put that song on i think we're why does it feel like all week this is what we've been talking about the nine of swords the golden mirror okay mental struggle and anxiety with this person insecure very like just that's very codependent very like they they can't sit with themselves they can't be alone they gotta roam it's like a constant distraction Hey, Virgo, you know, come on. It's not always Skittles and rainbows. These types of people are out there. Ooh, Aries energy. There's the emperor. Yeah, so, oh, and there's the devil. Of course. See, when the devil comes, then you know. So this person, they're head honcho. They're, they're the boss. Um, they don't, they're not, they don't like demand people be with them, but they have this commanding presence about them. We have Capricorn energy here, but it's toxic. So this is a front. This person wears some kind of a mask. The emperor. It's like a front. Look at me. I'm the top head of household. I'm the winner. I run the show. I'm the big, big boss man, boss lady. Right? Even with seduction, the desk and the chair. Um, some of you might be like sitting in a computer and you come across this person online or if you're like gaming or something if you play games or if you're someone who uh, this could be a boss at work flirting mm. i don't know there's an old saying that my father used to say used to say don't shit where you eat <laughs> don't shit where you eat i don't know virgo all right let me see let's get some clarifiers for the emperor Okay, yep, wandering around from town to town. I love them and I leave them. And they don't even know my name. Okay, and the devil. Very obsessive energy. Oh, they might even be like someone who comes across as very spiritual as well. 
For sure. Look, so the hanged man to me is always like, you know, the Christian cross, right? That's like Jesus, except he's upside down and the top part of the cross is missing. But it's like devil on my shoulder and angel on the other one. Devil on one shoulder, angel on the other. Be careful. (laughs) Virgo, this reading is... Like, I don't want to say it's hilarious, but Pisces energy, yeah, be careful. That's, that's, that's the warning. Leo energy. This person is out in the public. Like, they do this, they do this ish out in the public. They're not hiding. They don't hide it. And, and it's, gosh, they must be self-absorbed narc or something. They don't hide this behavior. It's like, they put it out there. And they don't care what anybody thinks. So people that people that just don't give an F, they don't they don't try to hide anything because they have no concern about what other people think of them. Because if they get found out for being flirtatious or playing around, okay, being a wanderer, then they'll just move on to the next. Because they can't possibly in their lifetime um, have every single person in the world in their life so they can just move that's why they go from town to town they could just move around wander around because they can fool anyone who doesn't know about them so they're they're pretty much out in the open even with this little child here and a unicorn they're just like a magical baby they have magical thinking justice card they think that they're right and what they do, so as far as like the golden mirror, narcissists, like they look in the mirror, they love themselves. And they think that what they're doing is fine. Heed the warning, Virgo. Heed the warning. Did I say Libra? Yeah, heed the warning. You have all these major arcanas here. What they don't show is that they roam and they don't show their anxiety. That's very, like they limit that. They minimize that. But everything else, they're out front with it. Very possessive very possessive energy with this person you know like what's i what's mine is mine and they keep people on a on a rotation in the rotation so to speak oh there we go this is some energy there you go it's abuse of love right there five of swords yep be careful I don't need to come over there and babysit, do I? Be careful. They're, they have that abusive, like, they cut off the others and then they go get new love. Heed the warning, Virgo. I feel like that's your message here. Heed the warning. Let me see. What else does Sarah want you to know about this weekend energy with this person? Okay, financial challenges affecting this connection. You might work with somebody. You might work with this person. Strictly sexual passionate but not enduring so hey let me just tell you what if this is for you if you're like yeah bring it on don't get attached don't get attached have that steel armor on if you're that virgo who wants to be seduced and wants all that affection and loving and care that's fine you know to be with somebody like this you basically have to be a narc yourself yep you basically have to be like if you're gonna play the game if you're gonna get in the game to play and win then you gotta you gotta just be the same as your opponents like you know you 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 can't have like a soccer match if you're a baseball player and you're going in with a bat and a baseball you got to be a soccer player (sighs) go slow go slow and that just means basically Take your time with this. Don't rush in to, with anything if, if this is something you want. Or if you're like, if you spot this, like you're safe, okay, no matter what. You're safe and divinely guided. If you spot this about somebody um, and you just want to be like, nah, I'm not going to do that, just pull away. Just slowly pull your energy away. Yep. Patience. Everything will unfold. If you're not sure, if you're going in this weekend and you're sensing this energy from someone but you're not 100 percent sure be patient you'll find out that the, that what's behind those eyes is that self-absorbed one-sided love bomber okay there you go warning don't miss the red don't dismiss the red flags here okay there's red flags big red flag in this reading if i had some red flags i'd be waving them all over the place i don't think you need even small flags Small red flags or big red flags? All right, let me take another 
take another look here. Let's see what other messages you have. What other messages for Virgo for the weekend? What else does Virgo need to know? Okay, change. A change of residence. Partner, career, or job is on the cards. Your restless need of a change, and that is exactly what's coming your way. Hey, never go grocery shopping when you're hungry. Ever, 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 because then you'll just take anything. Okay, so if you're feeling restless and you need a change because you're just feeling desperate and restless and you just need to break out, and then, you know, that's when you get attacked, when you're weak, when you're feeling weak. Never go out without some type of armor on, okay? Fighters don't, right? They don't get into the ring unless, unless they have their skills. Otherwise, they're going to get beat. Luck. A sudden change of luck is likely. Things are working in your favor. Excellent time for networking. All right. So like on the job front and things like that, I feel like you're going to have some luck. Maybe you'll get a new job and then this person starts seducing you. <laughs> Just be careful. It's like, oh, damn, this is the best job I've ever had. There's so much potential here. And now I got to deal with this fool. Travel long distance or commute. Long distance communication will open up your life. Exciting experiences for singles and career advancement for others. Be careful. I just feel like I need to tell you that. Just be careful. All right, let's get some initials and see what else shows up. We've got September 8th, September 15th, 59, 68, 34, the letter E, Oh, September 1st. Haven't seen that in a while. The letter G. The letter Y. Hey, I just got to say, someone is... If you're straight and this person comes across as straight, they're they're secretly gay. And if you're gay and this person comes across as gay to you, like that's how you see them, they're secretly straight. I don't know what the difference would be, but they're hiding. They hide. Everything is behind the scenes. They hide. Okay. The letter N and the letter P and the letter I. Ooh, I just heard pinion. P-I-N-Y-I-N. -I -I okay, the letter O. Hmm. G-O-P. This person might be in um, politics. Just hearing that. They could be in politics. or And then they're saying N-G-O. N-G-O. Okay. Um... April, we have an Aries showing up here. We have August 31st, we have September 9th, 1975. Someone's 29. Someone's born in the year of the ox. Someone is obnoxious. This person, not you. Obnoxious. All right, 1987, someone is 51. Someone's born in January. That's either a Capricorn or Aquarius. Someone is 44. Okay. Hmm. The letter R, the letter A. We have Ralph. We have Raj or Raja. Someone's opening a jar, a, a jar right now. Jennifer, August 23rd, 1985. Letter A and the letter B. Oh, is that a blood type? A, B? Is A, B a blood type? Can that be a blood type? I just heard blood type or either A or B. I don't know for sure. All right, give me some. Give Virgo, show Virgo the sign of this person. More qualifier. Capricorn, Scorpio, Libra, Gemini. Oh, Sagittarius. Taurus, Aquarius, Cancer, Pisces. And one more. Scorpio, Aquarius, Capricorn, Aries. Okay, I felt like Aries kept showing up a lot. All right, let me get a charm for you guys. And then we're going and enjoy this weekend. The weather is so amazingly warm this week where I am, which is like a bonus because it's, it's been so cold. All right, so we've got kisses, kissy lips. So for those of you who like kisses, Somebody's definitely going to be kissing up on you over this weekend or trying to. Uh, pink lipstick, significant for someone. Or you might get like little kisses, emojis from someone. Maybe you'll give them. But there's going to be a whole hell of a lot of this. Okay. And these are the sexy kissy lips. These are not the little kissy face with the heart that says like kiss, affection, I love you. I love you. This is, these are more of like, 
exotic, seductive kisses. Okay. I'm like, hey, you know what? <laughs> you do what you got to do. I just feel like the overall message here is don't get attached to don't, don't, don't invest in this one because you just, uh, you know, I, and then I, I'm going to say if you do invest, if you decide, if you're that Virgo that's like, you know what, I am 68 years old, there is nothing else out there, I am not waiting, I just need a girl toy or a boy toy, and like, there's people out there that that's what they want, and if this is what you want, you're just going to have, like, you can't be getting upset if this person's going from town to town and doing whatever, right? Um, so make sure that that's clear, because this person won't, they're not going to, like, if you say yes, then they're going to latch on to you, they're not going to let go. And I am absolutely not trying to have some kind of moral stance here. Everybody do what you need to do for yourselves in this particular situation. I never try to tell anybody what to do unless you specifically ask, which you're not. You're just here watching this reading. So do what you need to do. I'm just picking up like a big baby, <laughs> a big kind of baby energy with someone here over this weekend. I'm done. That's it. I'm finished. I'm getting on, going to that weekend, going to do my thing. I'm super excited. I went to see Cabrini the other day, and I have to tell you, it was such a good woman's movie. So if any of you ladies like those uh, power-up women's movies, that's definitely one to go see. One of them. I know there's lots out there. I know some of you like Wonder Woman and stuff, but that was really good. And I'm not getting paid to... Uh, <laughs> promote this movie i just wanted to tell you so yeah have a great weekend everyone i will see you all back here on sunday love you very much thanks to all the mods thank you for becoming a member if i didn't if i didn't call any members out that have recently joined um for today so i'll get you um i'll get your names and you'll get a shout out for me on sunday all right you guys love you bye hey you guys thank you so much for watching my readings if you'd like to get a personal reading Please feel free to click the link in the description box below to go ahead and follow that link and book your reading. Please remember to book, subscribe, like, do all the great things. Um, and I hope that you guys have a fantastic, blessed, loving, and light-filled life. Thank you. Bye.